The study took data submitted by Cadillac Police Department to the Federal Bureau of Investigation and used its own formula to determine the safety of the city. Lieutenant Todd Golnick with the Cadillac Police Department said the study is not an accurate report. The study uh, is basically for an insurance rating, so they have their own formula for how they're weighting crime. In fact, the Cadillac Police Department reported a steady decrease in crime over the past three years. In 2012, there were 327 violent crimes and just over 2,300 nonviolent and other crimes. In 2013, 291 violent crimes were reported, and there were just under 2,200 nonviolent and other crimes. In just last year, there were 294 violent crimes and a little over 2,100 nonviolent and other crimes. Very few, if any of these crimes, was a citizen walking down the street who was accosted by a stranger and basically had uh, something terrible happen to them to where the sense of security and safety in this community has been compromised. That's just not the case. Golnick said, like any city, Cadillac has some places that are more unsafe than others. But residents really don't have too much to worry about. I mean, I keep my doors locked where when I lived in the country I didn't, but I feel safe. Yeah, I, I live in a very nice neighborhood. I guess the time I'd, be, I'd feel the most unsafe is probably around nighttime when people are out partying, like on the weekends. I definitely probably feel a little less safe then. In Wexford County, Allison Scott, 7 and 4 News.